Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the following question and the question says, In an examination, a candidate had to answer 25 questions each requiring a single answer true or false. It was marked by giving two marks for each correct answer and minus one for each incorrect answer. Part 1 Write down a formula for the marks M obtained by a candidate who answered all the questions but had only X of them correct. Part 2 Use your formula to find out how many of his answers were correct if he answered all the questions and scored a total of 2 marks. Let's start the solution now. Now it's given in the question that there are a total of 25 questions and 2 marks are given for each correct answer and minus 1 for each incorrect answer. So total number of questions given is equal to 25. Now for the correct answers, the candidate gets two marks each and for the incorrect answers minus one marks each in part one we have to write a formula for the marks n obtained by a candidate who answered all the questions that had only X of them correct. Marks obtained is equal to M. In part 1 we are given that the candidate answered all the questions. Now the total number of questions is 25. So for part 1, Candidate answered twenty five questions and number of correct answers is equal to X. Now for each correct answer, the candidate gets two marks each. Therefore, marks obtained for correct answers is equal to 2 into x, that is 2x. Now since the correct answers are x, so the remaining answers that is 25 minus x must be incorrect. So incorrect answers is equal to 25 minus x. Therefore, marks obtained For incorrect answers is equal to marks obtained for each incorrect answer that is minus 1 into total number of incorrect answers that is 25 minus x. So this is minus 1 into 25 minus x the whole. And this is equal to x minus 25. 
Therefore, total marks obtained that is M is equal to marks obtained for correct answers that is 2x plus marks obtained for incorrect answers that is x minus 25. This implies M is equal to 3x minus 25. Hence, the formula for marks obtained is M is equal to 3x minus 25. This is the answer for part 1. In part 2 we are given that the candidate answered all the questions and he scored a total of 2 marks. We have to find how many of his answers were correct. So in part 2, we are given the marks obtained by the candidate that is M is equal to 2 and we will find the number of correct answers that is x. Therefore, using the other formula, and substituting the values, We have M is equal to 3X minus 25 from part 1. Now we substitute M is equal to 2 in this formula. So this implies 2 is equal to 3X minus 25. This implies 3X is equal to 25 plus 2. This implies x is equal to 27 by 3, which implies x is equal to 9. Hence, the number of answers that were correct is equal to 9. This is the answer for part 2. With this we end our session. Hope you enjoyed the session.